Welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> As Dana said, today we are on our way to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which I assumed was like a pier with like two rides. But apparently, it's a full on theme park. And I'm eating again on your channel. And we're eating. We've all got a breakfast meal from Tim Hortons. We've even got donuts because we weren't going to get any. And then they were like, if you buy breakfast meals, it's one pound for a donut. So we're like, gone then. It'd be rude not to. It would be. This is basically their version of McDonald's. It's a sausage and egg muffin. So they're not allowed to call it a muck. It's sausage you, and egg muffin. Well, why would they call it a muck muffin? It's not McDonald's. Yeah. Tim Hortons. Tim, Tim a Tim muffin. muffin. A Tim muffin. A Tim muffin. A Tim muffin. A I like that. A Tiffin. A Tiffin. <laughs> That's something different. That's something different. Mm -hmm. It's an hour and a half journey to Blackpool. The kids have been a few times. Kika's been a few times. They're Blackpool experts. Black experts. No, we're not. Are you not? No. Experts. Nobody wants to be an expert at Blackpool. No. Yeah, see, my view of Blackpool is that why would you go there? Yeah, it's a dump. Mm. Is it actually? Yeah, a dump. So we're why not... are we going? Because the theme bar is good. It's a fun dump. The town is a dump. Okay. Sorry, Blackpool, but it is. Mm. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Right, guys, it is cold. I'm so glad I've worn a jacket. My hands are absolutely freezing. Um, but yeah, it's not too busy. I thought it would be rammed because it's the Easter holidays, but it's not. But Taylor's the real expert. She's been here so many times. So many times. I just love Blackpool. Love Blackpool. She's a big fan. <laughs> also, there's a ride here called the Pepsi Max. It's not called that anymore. Is it not? No, it's the big one. The big one. Oh, it should still be yeah. called the Pepsi Max. So as you guys know, I'm addicted to Pepsi Max. So I'm gutted. <laughs> Right, we're getting on the next ride. This is the newest one here, it's called Icon. It looks it looks safer than the last. That was good, that was I'm too old for that, but Fletcher's come off with a nosebleed. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> and he doesn't like the ride, and we forced him to go on the. Oh, that was really good though. That was so good. I felt a bit sick though. Yeah. And I was worried I'd choke on my chewing gum. Oh, I spat my bar, that's right. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Fletcher. Oh my gosh, you got. Look at me again. <laughs> Did you enjoy it though? Yeah, it was nice. It made me freeze for a I know, that's so weird, isn't it? Oh well. You survived. Oh no, it's all down his top as well. I've been a little bit snobby about it. Well, I've wanted to come to Blackpool, but I didn't expect roller coasters to be that good. That was as good as anything you'd get at like... No. <laughs> that was as good as anything at like Fort Park, Orton Towers. <gasps> Pepsi Max! So it's not called it, but they've still got the branding on it. Yeah. Right, next up is one called Steeple Chase. Look at that. You're all on a horse and you all race each other. This looks fun. <laughs> Still sorting out Fletcher's bloody face. <laughs> We're winning! Oh. oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh I'm gonna lose. Oh <laughs> I need to put my phone away. We're stopping for lunch. Fletcher wants me to run through the fountain show. Mm -hmm. I've said, how much will he pay me? And he said nothing. I'd do it for money. I'd do it for twenty quid. <laughs> Five. Five, no. Not worth it. Look at that seagull. That seagull's gonna be steroids. <laughs> it's huge. Anyway, having lunch. This is all gonna get, get thrown up later on the next ride, but never mind. We're about to go on our next ride, literally two minutes after we've eaten, so this could go horribly wrong. But we're hoping for the best. We roll the dice, don't we? We do. So the other two have gone on a ride, but we feel a bit too sick to go on it. So I've just bought Fletcher some mussels, and I'm like, they don't taste of anything. I can't, I've never known a 10 year old like mussels, and he said they taste like squishy chicken. Well, it doesn't taste like chicken. Okay. Interesting. Not sure I agree. I'm gonna go and see if there's something sweet to eat, maybe donuts or chocolate. Right, I've not gone on the last couple because I do feel a little bit sick. Fletcher also feels a little bit sick, so I've been waiting with him. 
Uh, but I don't know what it is. We were talking about this in the car. It's almost like you get to a certain age and like you can no longer do spinny rides. Like I can do loop de loops, but if something spins round, I cannot do it. I would throw right up. So I don't know why that, it happens after food, but it's normally just, I can't do spinny even on an empty stomach, to be honest. Anyway, we've got a couple more rides left we've booked in. So we paid extra for the speedy passes, which means we can book rides and then just show up on, on the time slot they give us. So yeah, we've got a couple left. And then I think we might be heading home. That really tall one is the Pepsi Max or the big one. And uh, it's close today because it's so high up that apparently, because it, it's quite windy, you can't get on it. Right, we're all done guys. But before going, we've gotten some donuts. Yeah, food vlogs go down well. People like to see the food. Not being the healthiest of days today. Not the healthiest of days. Has everyone enjoyed themselves? Very much. Mm, yeah. Been very good. First experience of Blackpool, but it's a good one. It's a good place place where dreams are made of, the rides of your life. And that's what one of the rides said, it said it's the ride Lots of your life. People. Lots of Scots here. Don't know why, because we're not in Scotland. Hello everyone, it's Thursday and uh, it's the afternoon. It's half past three and I'm, I'm just doing errands this afternoon. I've dropped Keegan off to pick up his car because his car's being re-spray painted. And then I've just dropped the kids off at their mum's. So I've dropped Keegan off, then the kids, and now I'm off to the vets with Ava. This is Ava's first vet appointment up north in Yorkshire. So yeah, and she's having some trouble with her ears at the moment. Basically, she's always had trouble with her ears, like most spaniels, because their ears flap down and there's no like airflow through their ears. It can get quite moist and damp in there, and uh, they can get little bacterial infections and they can get really itchy. My parents are gonna make fun of me watch. They always say that I talk with my hands all the time and I just went itchy. Um, she does get itchy. Uh, anyway, occasionally she's been on antibiotics when it's got really bad, but mostly um, they've given me a prescription sort of eardrop solution that I put in whenever she starts itching her ears. And that works really, really well. Um, and I had about half a bottle left when I moved up north here to Yorkshire. And then one day I went to visit mum and dad with Ava and the bottle leaked and so I lost all of it. I'm hoping to get given some more of it today so yeah, we can keep on top of her ears because I do feel sorry for her when she has really itchy ears. But other than that, it's just a, a checkup. I think she does need some booster vaccinations so she absolutely hates the vet. So she's probably gonna, you know, she's probably gonna hate it up here as well. Keegan was like, maybe she won't realize it because she's never been to this surgery. I'm like, oh, she'll know. She knows the vet smell. She was like that when we moved vets before. She just knew, so you know. Dogs aren't stupid, are they? Yeah, it's just been an errands day, really. I've been sending lots of emails out, doing lots of admin. I've edited a members video. I've been uploading lots of happy, healthy homo stuff, so scheduling all the reels, TikToks, and all of that. And I need to edit a main channel video for tonight as well. So it's, the day is still not done. In Yorkshire, I spend my life sitting in traffic. Thank you for the lovely comments on my Copenhagen vlog. Do you know what? I was dreading editing that video because whenever I go traveling and I vlog it, there's always, it takes a lot longer to edit than a day in the life vlog like this because there's usually more footage. I enjoyed editing it so much and it made me realize that I think that's what's missing at the moment from my vlogging here on this channel is lots of my vlogs are just everyday life vlogs, which I enjoy doing and I think you guys enjoy too. But there was something about the Copenhagen vlog where I was like, Oh, I need to do more of this because this is what keeps things interesting for me, but also for you guys. It's got me really excited for Florida, for all the Florida vlogs that I will do with Keegan and the kids. So yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. And that's coming around really, really quick. It's about five weeks away. So is that quick? I don't know. You know what? While I'm in traffic, I might as well give you a book recommendation because I can see there's a lorry reversing. So that's why there's traffic. This book. So when I went shopping with Cherry about a month ago now, that's flown by, Cherry really recommended me this book. I wasn't gonna buy anymore, but she was like, I'm reading this. It's like fantasy. It's like about dairies and things. She was like, it's so good. You need to read it. And at the time I was thinking, oh, I don't know. Cause I do like fantasy sort of worlds, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I enjoy reading about fantasy. I enjoy fil fantasy films and TV shows, but I was like, you know what? I wanna push myself out of my comfort zone. I wanna try new things, because all I like reading is crime thrillers. <laughs> and I was like, I need to try new things. So I started this a couple of days ago, and oh my gosh, to put it in perspective, earlier today, I grabbed my book to take to the car, and Keegan said, you really like that book, don't you? And I was like, Yes, because I haven't been able to put it down, guys, and I better put it down now because I'm driving. It's about fairies and stuff, but not fairies as you might think of them. You know, like twinkly little dainty fairies with wings. Not like that. These fairies are like monsters that are like 
human they take human form but then they can transform into like one of them at the moment he transforms into a massive beast so it's that kind of fairy it's not like dainty fairy and i'm loving it so so far if i just give you a potted thing of what it's about it's about this 19 year old girl who's a huntress and she she's a human she lives in the human world the human world has all been divided up into the mortal lands where the humans live and the fairy lands, the fairy kingdoms, and they're at war with each other. They don't like each other. Actually, they're not at war. They're at peace with each other, but they hate each other. Anyway, she accidentally kills a wolf because she's poor and she wants to eat food. So she shoots a wolf with a bow and arrow. Turns out it was actually a fairy in disguise as a wolf. And that means she's broken the treaty between the two worlds. So basically this big wolf comes to get her and is like, you broke the treaty, you killed one of us fairies. So now you've got an option. You can either, I can either kill you here and now, or you come with me and you live the entire rest of your life in the fairy kingdom. And she's like, okay, so obviously I don't want to die, so I'm going to go with you to the fairy kingdom. But she's also like, why have you given me that ultimatum? Like, am I going to be your slave? Like, what's going to happen? And so far, I'm only 100 pages in. The book's 500 pages, so I'm a fifth of the way through. She's living in a lovely manor house. Everything is beautiful. It's like a pristine, gorgeous palace. All the grounds are curated and lovely. They eat lovely food. Everything's expensive and nice. And she's like, okay i miss my family and stuff but this is really nice what's going on so that's where i'm up to and um i just love it i'm so absorbed in this fantasy world which i i didn't know i wanted and i haven't been as gripped by a book for ages i think i told you guys the last three books i've tried reading i've given up on two of them the last one i got through i didn't really enjoy it and finally 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 a book that i cannot put down and the best news about it is if i continue to enjoy it there's four other books in this series so it's i've got a whole load of reading to do which i'm so excited about just thought i'd recommend that to you guys if you're interested in fantasy stuff if you're not then don't read it but if you're like me and you're borderline like i think i'm into fantasy then give it a go Right, we're early. We're 15 minutes early, but let's go for a little walk. You've already had one today, but we've got her nice collar and lead on. I have no idea where we're going, so I might need to get my map out. You're doing well. Hi. Good girl. Right, we're all done. I will debrief you in the car because it's a bit windy and I don't have my muff on my camera. So all you can probably hear is wind. All right, let's get home. I'm desperate for a wee. Um, yeah, it took a bit longer than it should have done because they had to call my London vet and ask them to transfer all of Ava's details over. And uh, so he did a little check up and then the details still hadn't come through. So he obviously couldn't give her her vaccinations without knowing what her previous vaccination history was. He had another patient, so I had to wait. And I was like, I could just come back another time. I could just come back another time. And they were determined for me to get it done there and then, which is good, I suppose. And then they had to call my vet again and say, basically, can you hurry up? And uh, so they did. So we basically got her vaccinated. I just need to uh, do all the boring admin, guys. That's why I've been putting it off. I've lived here three months and I'm still behind on all my jobs. I still haven't registered myself with a doctor up here. Um, I've registered my little girl before I've registered myself. Yeah, I need to cancel her health plan in London. I pay £16.50 a month to get flea tick and worming treatment. And here it's £17 a month, so it's a bit more expensive up here. Which you wouldn't have thought it'd be more expensive in Yorkshire than in London, but hey ho. <sighs> Time to get home. Did I stop at B&M and get some Diet Coke? Yes, I did. You did so good at the vets, didn't you? Yeah, you're just chilling now. You're grateful to be home. She definitely looks... Oh, what's going on? She looks a lot more chill. So I wonder if it's a bit like us humans when we get a vaccination and then we start to feel a little bit unwell for 24 hours. You're tired, aren't you? You're so cute. At the risk of sounding like a Cherry Wallace fanboy, I mean, I am a Cherry Wallace fanboy, I realised that the book I showed you was because it was recommended to me by Cherry and then she's such an influencer that on her Instagram story she recommended a water bottle and I've been meaning to like try and drink less of that, the Diet Coke, and more water and I figured would this motivate me to drink water? It's sort of got uh, hourly targets, or not hourly but it's got time sort of targets on it and I was like I'm gonna buy one it's from Amazon and this was only like 13 pounds I think so Cherry if you're watching this I'm sorry that I like copy everything I mean is it copying because you've recommended it so I'm just you know I'm 
anytime you do a brand deal, Cherry, just tell me to use your code, buy the product, you know I will. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping this will help. Um, they did have a more masculine one, like a black and grey and white one, but I just find something a bit weird about drinking from a black bottle. I just find it really strange, so I went for this violet and blue one. Hello everyone, it's Saturday morning and it feels like it should be midday, but it's only 9.40 because I've been up since before 7 a.m. Basically, Keegan's car's in the garage yet again. That His car is never out of the garage. <laughs> Not our garage at our house, as in like the garage where you get things fixed. Um, anyway, so we've got, we're a one car family today and Keegan has rugby training at 8 a.m. So got up just before seven. Um, I dropped Keegan off for at rugby training at 8 a.m., drove home. Had about half an hour to get ready, get showered and everything, and then I've had to drive 40 minutes to drop Taylor off at football. I'm gonna wait here, basically, until she's done for a couple of hours, and then drive 40 minutes home. So I've packed my laptop. Normally I watch, if I come, I normally come with Keegan. It's very rare that I come by myself, although a couple of times I've, I've dropped Taylor off by myself, and usually I watch, but I've got some work to do. So I've packed my laptop, and I've also packed my book that I'm loving at the moment, so, yeah, I'm just heading. I've just tried to find the nearest coffee shop, and uh, that's where I'm going right now. But yeah, it's only 9.40. I feel, because I've been up so early, I'm driving so much. I feel like it's, it's midday, but I'm in a place I've never been before. It's quite beautiful around here. This is like on the outskirts of, between Leeds and York. It's sort of near a York, I think, which is where I was last weekend, incidentally. But uh, yeah, it's very pretty around here and it's very quiet. I don't know if that's because it's Saturday morning or because it's Easter holidays or both, but yeah, it's very, very quiet. I'm annoyed at myself though, because I've got some clothes to return to River Island. And when I drove in this way, I saw a River Island. So I was like, damn it, I could have ticked off a job. Um, hang on. I think it's in the boot. Yes! I actually think I've left the River Island stuff in the boot. So I think I can do that. Yay! Uh, that makes me feel good because it makes me feel like a productive trip. Yeah, I think that's the, the hardest thing is like, I'll be honest with you guys. Obviously, again, I've had a such a huge lifestyle change. I get asked questions about it all the time, not just from you guys, but from, you know, friends and family. Like, I need to reply to my friend Drew, who's texting me, and he was like, how's life adjusting to, like, being up north and, and sort of inheriting two children? So I need to reply to him when I'm in the coffee shop. But I suppose what I say to people is, like, in London, I lived a very, very selfish lifestyle, and not in a bad way. I don't say that with any negative tone because of course I did because I didn't have a partner you know I had a housemate Lucy but you know I she didn't need any looking after we didn't spend that much quality time together like we spent a lot of time together but it was just you know coexisting watching TV together eating together but we would do everything separately cook separately so yeah we sort of just coexisted together but we never did like it's very different to living with a partner for example but yeah I lived very selfishly whatever I wanted to do whenever I wanted to do it I'd do it so for example if I wanted to go to the theatre one evening Thing, I'd go. If I wanted to go into London and go shopping, I'd go. If I wanted to just sit on the sofa all day and do nothing, I'd do that. Like, there was nothing stopping me from doing anything that I wanted, wanted to do. Flash forward to, like, this morning, for example, and personally, me, I have nothing on. I have nothing pressing to do today. However, I've been up since five to seven, ferrying people around, taking Keegan to rugby training, going back home, picking Taylor up, taking Taylor to football, waiting for two and a half hours for Taylor to finish football, and then I'll be taking her home. And I don't mind doing any of that whatsoever. Uh, however, it is an adjustment because I've gone from doing things just for myself to doing things for other people. And talking to my parents about it, they're like, I actually think it's really good for you that you've, that you've now got this because it's given you something other than yourself to sort of think about. Um, not that I think they're saying that I was self-absorbed before, but I suppose naturally, yeah, I probably was a bit self-absorbed. And again, not in an unkind way, but just all I had to think about was me. Me, 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 me. And I'm 31 and most people, when they get to my age, they do have a partner or marriage or kids or responsibilities like that. And I've not had that. It's been quite nice to do things for other people 
it's also it is difficult it is a sacrifice i think i did have a bit of a meltdown maybe a couple of months ago and i had a bit of a voice note with my actually i voice noted a few people i voice noted my best friend mina i voice noted leah um and i think i texted my mum about it because i just got very upset and overwhelmed because i was just like what has happened to my life like i'm enjoying my life up here but i was like my life has gone from me being in london doing whatever i want to do to suddenly now doing like these things for other people and it just feels very odd it doesn't feel bad it just feels odd um so yeah that's me being really real see i worry now that in saying that it comes across as if i don't like my life i do like my life and i i'm very much you know i'm an independent enough person that if i did not like my life I would not stick around. <laughs> I'd be changing the things that I don't like, um, but I do. We've arrived at the retail park. There's a Costa Coffee drive-through, but can you sit in? I know there's a Starbucks in the Sainsbury's. There's a McDonald's, I don't wanna sit in a McDonald's. Ew. Yes, there we go. It looks quite busy though. And that's the end of this vlog, guys. I had a lovely time doing my work in Costa this morning and I'm now back home and I'm not sure what we're gonna do today We have batted around the idea of potentially going to the cinema. I don't know if we will We might just have a lazy day here the four of us, but um or just jump in the hot tub later. That'd be fun. That's all. Thank you guys so much for watching If you'd like to become a channel member then click join next to subscribe and if not then I'll see you soon. Also, it's Mother's Day in the US coming up and I've just joined a deal on Cameo where I do personalized videos for people. It's a reduced rate so that I think the first 10 people to book get the Cameos for $25. So if you're a mother or, oh, I was on the wrong setting there, guys. Anyway, yeah, if anyone wants a Cameo from me for Mother's Day, then just tell your kids to request it. But yeah, and get in early because then you get the reduced rate. But anyway, that's all. That's all the parish notices, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.